Uh, up next, I'd like to welcome representatives from the Memphis Public Library, Jamie Griffin, who is the Creative Outreach and Special Projects Assistant Director, and Whitney Dunning, who's the Education Liaison Coordinator. Good evening, everyone. I'll start. I'm Whitney Dunning, and I serve as the Educational Liaison Coordinator for Memphis Public Libraries. And I work as a support to the or the schools here in Shelby County. Uh, we are a continuous resource within the community, and we are always working to help bridge the gap in educating our students, especially when they're out of school. Do you know where to find your neighborhood branch? So when we hear the word library in Memphis, we usually think of the central library or the central branch on popular. But did you know that the library is so much more than that one branch? We actually have 18 branches located throughout Memphis and Shelby County. And in most cases, there's one in your community. So you don't have to drive all the way here. You can find one that's closer to you. In each of our branches, we hold special programming unique to the people and the needs of that particular community. So that's what makes our branches so different and unique. If you need something, uh, usually, especially in your school or in your area, your branch may have that opposed to the branch here. Um, the locations and hours can be found online, as well as our calendars and our programming for those particular libraries. And indoor programming has returns. That means we're back in the library and we're back in here doing good things. Can you go to the next slide for me? Our vision. Our vision here at MPL is simple. We're your place to connect, grow, and learn. So we truly believe that our libraries are more than bookshelves. Our strategic plan here provides a vision for the next five years that includes things like equitable access to education or educational service and cultural resources and championing literacy for all ages and learning levels. Our goals are being accomplished with you in mind. Our next slide, please. All right, um, I'm Jamie, and um, I'm going to talk to you about some of the things that we're going to be offering you during the winter break. I think you're going to love this. All right, first of all, we're going to talk about the Winter Reading Challenge. You're familiar with the uh, Summer Reading Challenge, better known as Explore Memphis, that you'll like the Winter Reading Challenge as well. It's for children 12 and under, but just like the Summer Edition, the goal is to encourage reading and exploring while children are away from school, helping to support leisure reading. Uh, the dates are from December 19th through January 1st. Registration starts on December 6th. So when you register, when your kid register, you get a book. If you read 30 minutes, you get a prize. If you read, I mean, excuse me, if you read 300 minutes, you get a prize. If you read 400 minutes, guess what? You get an even bigger prize. Easy enough. Now, I don't expect you to remember all of this, uh, but you can al always go to our website, uh, as Whitney said, memphislibrary.org. Another uh, big thing we're doing is called Tunes and Tales. It's a virtual program that gives children a chance to experience story time with an additional dimension that is with the soundtrack provided by the Memphis Symphony. Everybody doesn't get that. They get down and, and there's another dimension as well. Kids can pick up a craft related to the story time at participating libraries. Of course, all of this is free. The remaining 2021 Tunes and Tales story times are scheduled for the next upcoming Saturdays mornings. That's December 4th, 11th, and 18th. The links for the story times are on our website. Again, another plug, memphislibrary.org. All right, so we're not done. We're also working with Memphis City Beautiful, offering virtual story times. These story times are centered around environmental topics like pollution, littering, recycling, there are some local celebrities reading to the kids. Not going to tell you who. Just have to jump on there and find out. They're also on Saturdays, one in one in December the 11th, the three others in 2022, January 11th, the 22nd, and February February 5th. All times at 11 a.m. Uh, our literary, if we can move forward, our literary support includes our Discover Read Centers, which are at 12 of our locations with the goal of encouraging caretakers to interact with their children uh, with reading, STEM activity, music, games, etc. Student cards, library cards provide an opportunity for students to get their own library cards and not to rely on their parents to check out their books. And, uh, and they can use our computers while they're in the library. As Whitney mentioned, we have returned to in-facility in, uh, programming. 
So I'm sure they would love to take advantage of that. Now, Cloud, non, cloud 901 and our teen innovation centers are, are not about early literacy, but for those caregivers who have older children and want to bring them to the libraries along with the small children, we have opportunities for them as well. So there you have it. I hope you find the uh, Memphis Public Libraries uh, up to your standards. Of course you would. Anyway, for Jamie, I mean, for Whitney, I'm Jamie, Memphis Public Libraries. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Jamie and Whitney. What sounds like, and I'll echo that plug to go to the Memphis Library website. There's amazing resources there and obviously great ways for families to be engaged over the break.